सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स गीक चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन इंटरेस्टिंग टूल कॉल्ड जॉट फॉर्म मे बी यू हर्ड अबाउट जॉट फॉर्म अर्लियर इफ नॉट then this video is for you in this video i'm going to talk about each and everything like what is jot form how it will help you who can use jot form right and also how you can install jot form in your salesforce account and also how you can create a jot form account so these are the things that we are going to cover in this video so let's get started what is jot form so jot form is a really powerful tool that will help you to automate your sales process by building really powerful forms with the help of hundred of widgets and a lot of integration and one of the integration is jot form for salesforce i will talk about jot form for salesforce in couple of minutes you can build forms with the powerful form builder that will contain more than thousands of pre built templates that you can use according to your on business scenario now let's talk about jot form for salesforce with the help of jot form forms you can collect any type of information from the user and directly sync all that information into your salesforce account that will help you to save a lot of time also help you to close more deals jot form for salesforce is not just limited by collecting information from the user or let's say customer but you can also use it for creating surveys e signatures by pre filled forms etc all these demos we are going to cover in the second part of this particular video so make sure you check out that video as well now let's talk about who can use jot form so non profits can add donors to salesforce as contact sales team can turn demo request registration into leads in salesforce contractors can add and update contacts with the help of jot form e signature in built forms and consultants also can use it as well so now without any delay let's check out how you can create a jot form account and also how you can install jot form in your salesforce account so without any delay let's check it out so in order to create a jot form account what we need to do first of all we need to type jot form and simply click enter then you will see the official website called jotform.com simply click on it and in order to create a account you need to click on sign up for free and for the sign up for free you will see three options over there either you can sign up with the help of google like your gmail account second is facebook and the third one is by simply putting out your email over there as i already created my account so what i will do i will simply click on login and i created my account with the help of gmail so i will simply click on google over there now i am going to select the account for which i created the jot form account so i will simply click on it and this is going to be the same process in order to create a account on jot form as well so once uh, you logged in you will see this kind of interface or whether when you created a account as well you will see the same interface over there so first what i am going to do i am going to show you some basic information over there for example if you see here if i click on view all so right now you can see these are the limits which are there in your free account right like you can use five forms only how many form views like up to 1000 like 1000 users can view your form one time right or 1000 views basically payment submission is 10 submission of forms is basically 100 then total submission is 500 like the complete of uh, forms then upload space is 100 mb now in order to you further uh, increase these limits you need to upgrade your form for now i am just testing this particular tool so i am going to start my plan with the starter plan you can also see the pricing if i click on the pricing of the jot form you can see here right now i am with the starter plan so it is free of cost there we have bronze silver gold and enterprise and you can also see the pricing and the functionalities that you can build over jot form platform right this is about how you can create a jot form account right now we need to attach our jot form account with salesforce so first of all what i am going to do i am going to open app exchange here and once you open the app exchange click on the app exchange official website so once you logged in over there you can see i already logged in because i simply log in with my trailer account 
uh, to the Salesforce App Exchange platform. And in the App Exchange, I will simply going to type Jot Form. So just type and search. So you can see Jot Form is a listing over there. So simply click over it and then click on get it now. Now you need to simply select the account in which you want to install the Jot Form. So I'm going to select in shubhambharadwaj.com. This is the username of my one of the Salesforce developer org. So you can also select according to your choice. The account that you are seeing here that, uh, that are the connected account with your trailer account over, over there, right? So after this, what you need to do, you need to simply click on install in production. As I'm installing this package into the Salesforce developer org, so that's why I selected the first option. If you need to select or if you need to install the package into a sandbox, then you need to select the sandbox option over there. I'm simply going to select the terms and conditions checkbox over there and you can also see uh, all the information available over there. I am going to click on confirm and install. So once I selected confirm and install, you will basically redirect to, to this page and here you will be selected like okay you need to select your org into which org you are going to install although we already selected the account but uh, again you need to provide the credentials here let's say shubham bharadwaj at the rate sf.com and then simply provide the password click on login Then I'm going, simply going to install this particular tool for admins and click on install. Right now you can see we need to grant access to these third party websites called api.jotform.com. So simply select this checkbox and click continue. It will take hardly two to five minutes in order to install the package. So let's check out after five minutes. So once the package is installed in your org, you will say installation complete and you just need to click on done. Once you click on done, it will redirect you to the installed packages and where you can see each and everything about the package like what are the components and other things as well. So let's say if I click on jot form, here you can see everything like view dependencies, view components. So you will see everything about the package, right? So after this, what you need to do, you need to simply visit permission set. and look for jot form so here you can see jot form app user i am simply going to open it and assign myself as the jot form app user click on manage assignment click on add assignment and select my user over there and click on next and select whatever the user you want to provide the access to this particular app that is called jot form click assign so this is done now let's check out the application that we have which is of jot form simply you need to click on the app launcher type jot form over there click on it so here you will see the setup so as you can see here you have two buttons called start for free or you can log in to existing account. So as you know that we already created our uh, jot form account. So I will simply going to click on this and I'm simply going to select Google over there and select my Shubham Bhardwaj SRD at the red gmail.com. Once you did this, you will see this kind of interface where you need to connect your jot form account and Salesforce account. So simply you need to click on allow and click allow again and once you basically logged in into your jot form account you will see the interface over there you can see create form button over there right so now we are done with the integration part we basically connected our jot form account and our salesforce account now we are also going to see how we can use jot form to create surveys e-signatures and all so now let's check out the second part which will be live after this particular video so make sure you check it out thank you